Hello, today I'm going to teach you how to make this rubber band link but uh, I'm not going to make Zora link, I'm going to make the classic link but this is his uh, outfit let's start by making the body with two rubber bands This is the cap, the hat, whatever you want to call. Now uh, we've done the the head. Now let's make his hair. Um, I'm going to make his hair um, more browny, like this, uh, because I don't have this color today. But uh, it's blue because it steals. It steals a. It's like gold. And we go down like this. So the hair is done, not the face. In this case I used white, but today I'm going to use the skin color. Like this. And you go... You go down to... Oh, sorry. It's actually... Like this now, uh, the so I'm still doing the face. The neck you can use three rubber bands to be stronger or two your choice no so the body it's like this So uh, now here we're going to make the belt. It's brown too. Like 
this. Now I'm just going to turn the room to, uh, for uh, you can see better. Now it's done. We're going to make the rest of the tunic that is uh, green. Like this. It just wants. So the tunic is ready now. His legs. White because he eats so cream of time wing and we are going to make his leggings. So in the center you do not put anything because it's 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 the you will not make a third leg, right? So you do this twice. Twice like this. And now uh like we have um this space it's really short. Only if you have a bigger loom uh, but if you have a normal a normal loom you will need to make an extension you will need to to take your hook your hook and you need to make the the shoes so you will put a brown rubber band you turn it one two three four to create four looms uh, four loops sorry um, now you take two rubber bands two you can see your finger and do this Put it again in your loop, in your hook, sorry, <laughs> like that. Uh, and this is the foot. Now we are going to make this two more times to make his boot. You transfer this to the <coughs> two rubber bands, and this is a boot, like you can see. And now we are going to make. We are going to put your boot in place, right here. So your boot is ready. Now let's make another one with this. Two rubber bands, always two rubber bands. I will say when when it's not necessary. But now, till now, always two rubber bands, or it will not work very well. Now, transfer it to the, transfer to the rubber band, and now you have the other um, boot. Let's put it on the the loom like this, and you have your boots. Now we are going to make the arms. So, as you can see, it's a Ocarina of Time link, and so he has no chainmail. He does not have this chainmail. So we are going to make a normal arm and first you take a brown one to make the the glove then he has a gauntlet so we are going to make the gauntlets so 
this is the gauntlet you can see he had one two three and four five <laughs> okay so let's make the rest of the arm do another another brown so the gauntlet is done now the shirt it's white like this but only once now we're going to make the rest of the tunic putting two greens like this so one arm is done it's just like a my um it's it's the basics you can you can see now i will uh, do the other and you need to stop the video to make another one so uh, till the uh, do the, the other um, stop when you're done you can watch the rest so now that you have the both arms you can take it off the loom the oh my god sorry the hook and put it on the this pin that's the shoulder and now we're going to put the arm right so the arm it should be here and now the other one we're going to put uh, in the another shoulder so now this is um, this is not joined together. We need to join it. So let's start from the head and let's put some triangles like this here. Um, then uh, we are going to make um, the eyes. Um, his eyes are blue so we're going to use some dark blue you can use uh, light blue or dark blue do three loops to create four loops and now do the same thing here one, two, three, four to create four loops. One, two, three, four. And now your eyes are ready. Now we are going to let's show a little better. You should take a skin color band put it here like this and I need to transfer the eyes to the band and how? easy you just you go by the outside not inside because you will ruin, ruin your work by the outside grab the, the eye and put it up so it's going to be here are you seeing it's easy uh, now go uh, go under and put up if uh, if you leave some some part of the eye here no problem you can take it and put it here so the eyes are ready now we are going to put the rest of the triangles take another one the green because it's the color of the tunic but 
if you are doing a Goron link or a Zora link like this, you use the blue in the Zora, Goron tunic, you use the red one. Now you take another green, oh no, sorry, <laughs> not a green, sorry. You take a brown one and put in the belt like this. Now we take. Another green. Now let's show a little bit more. Now with the green, you do the triangle, but this part needs to be inside. So take your hook like this and push it up. So it stays like this. Easy, huh? Now we are ready to loop. So you go to loop, you go under the foot, take the the two white rubber bands and take them to the front to create a teardrop. That means that everything is joined. Now take the Oh my god, sorry. So next. Put the, uh, I will do like this, okay. No, maybe like this, it's better. Now go down the triangle that you made here. Go down. Take the green ones that go to the front like this go behind go here you push the triangle behind and you take the green sorry you take the green I'll do like this okay. behind take your okay now this part is loomed it's ready it's everything it's teardrops so Everything's done here now. We do the other side and the left side, or you can make the left first, that doesn't matter. And take it, take it. This is basics to join everything, like in the bracelets. Push it down because the spin is very full and it can pop off. No. Do the center, it's always the same, like you should know. Like this, I always go to the next pin, like this. Now that you are in the neck here you're going under all the cap pens and oh my god so you go under the cap band of the shoulder and you take the rubber bands that go to the center 
like this and then you go under those and you take this sorry and you take the ones that go to the side now we go down and we take the skin color bands that go to the next pin like, like this release the tension like this you've got uh, the hook and you spin it around to take to delete all the tension now you take the this is, this is a bit hard so you go here and you take the rubber band now take it off and put it here now release the tension again you take those off you go around and you put it here release the tension now start going up always the same grab both now do the same thing here so we're going to make like this one the face it's the same now um we are going to do the same thing here it's always the same it's, I think it's pretty easy but that's my opinion now you take the only those put them oh no no, no do not let them run put them here push down take the others put them here now you keep doing the same up up release the cap the head whatever you can call it go down take the green ones like this push, push this a bit down now this is the end dun, dun, dun. It's this now uh, link is made it's done but we need to make the shield and the sword yet but <coughs> first body uh, you need to see if everything is on teardrops if not your link will will not work now so before you take it off the loom you should put your hook through every through all the bands I uh, like this is like there are lots of bands. I'll take two. I'll take two rubber bands. I'll, I'll I'm going to I'm going to do this. now to catch and you do uh, a slip knot a slip knot like this and now let's take it off the loom
Ta-da! Here's our cute pink. He's so cute. You can put his hat. You can fix it. It will stay up. If you don't want, you can fix it. So, this is your link. And now, we need to make his his sword and shield, or he will not fight. So now, we are going to make his sword. Sorry, my loom is not very good. So his... Now oh, he's br uh, breaking. But now... Let's just make the sword. This one is not very well, so I'm going to make another one that will be really better. You you start doing the this sword. Let's start making the blade like this you this one is very short so i'm going to make a little bit bigger like one two three uh, four okay i'm going to make one two three four <coughs> this is the blade now uh, Let's make the rest of this sword, the handle. So this one was too big, so I'm only doing one. Like this, it will be really better. Like this. It's the sword is uh, just super easy to do. No. Uh, the handle I'll make it not that long as this one I'm going to make a little bit shorter like this and this so the no our sword is uh, almost ready now you will need to make cap pens Use one and cap the end of the sword. One, two, three, four to create four loops. Do the same thing right here, like this. One, two, three, four, and now same thing here. One, two, three, uh, four. So this, this is really bad. I hate this. Always falling apart. So now we're going to loop it. It's almost the same. Go down. Go to the sides like this. Wait, I Here, it's it's like the face. We need to go here, down here, taking this rubber band and go down like this. Do the same thing here. Take this off like this. Now 
I go all the way up. Pretty, pretty easy. God, I hate this loom so much. So the sort is ready to take off the loom. Take it carefully so any thing breaks. Sorry about this. It's really annoying. I was falling apart, it's not very good. Now take it take the rest of the sort out. But here there's something we need to do. It's another slip knot. We take the sorry, this is always falling apart and I cannot even finish this. So you put this through the rubber band take one rubber band make the slip knot like this and now it's ready to come off so this is the sword we need to fix it okay so this is the sword it's it's good i think now uh, uh, you need to make link grab the sword so with your hook you can or with your hand to me it's easier with my hand take this to open a hole in the sword, put his end inside it, and now the sword it's in his hand and he can fight. It's pretty good. Now let's make his shield, it's easy to. And oh, sorry, and now we're going to make with um, the grey we are going to make this little shield if you want a bigger one you can make with more bands so let's start we start doing with the grey the outside part like this like this And like this. Now, can see. Now let's make the the rest the shield. It's easy. Like this. you can see now we just finish the gray part doing this like the head or the body you know see like this and now the this this part of the shield is ready now this side of the shield you should make two rubber bands coming down the blue now you need red rubber bands to make oh no sorry first i was kind of confused 
first to take the yellow ones to make the triforce. And now you can see I'm going to make the symbol right here. It's done. Now we need to join everything with the triangles. Take some triangle, some prevent, make a triangle, do that again, and now you can loop, but first you need to cap the end, so you take some rubber band, right, and loop one, two, three, four, to create our loops like I said before now we just take the upper bands that are the red bands oh oh my god it's broke wait just <laughs> wait just a sec I'm I'm just going to change the band so let's continue sorry uh, we put this down you go behind the oh my, the capping rubber band you go down oh my god this is kind of hard to make so take your time take the rubber bands stretch oh my god again oh sorry wait we're back sorry these bands are not very good but it's what i have so let's stretch it out but first i think i need to release the tension i think that's the bigger problem here so oh my god, <sighs> oh my god what the hell Sorry, people, but this is really bad. This is not even a little stronger. I think I need to glue this. <laughs> really. Okay, now we can stretch this. Oh, now yes. Now go down again, take the ones that go to the left, they should go to the left, then you take the ones that go to the right, if you did like I did, now go down the other, the, the other bands, up. It, this is so easy to do. Take the yellow, now the blue. Let's finish taking off the side ones. Or you can make first. You can make them first and then put center one. Now, before you take it off the room, you do the slip knot. It's better to use two rubber bands, they're stronger. Do the slip knot. Now uh, the shield is done, you can take it off the loom, like this, God, what the hell? so 
here's your shield stretch it here's your shield well it's not perfect but it's what we can do with the loom now do the same thing uh, here you you need to open the yellow ones right here and you should put the shield in his right hand and now here's your you keep it link it's so cute and you can play it give it to your friends or if you have some some question you can ask me and if you if you want something I do uh, say in the, the comments below I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see ya